We're just two months away from a rare solar eclipse that will be visible across North America. For the first time in nearly 100 years, the United States will have the opportunity to see a total solar eclipse from coast to coast. I'm joined by Dr. Noah Pichro, a scientist with NASA, who has more information on the eclipse and how you can see it. Thank you so much for being with us today. Well, thanks for having me on. So tell me what is going to happen on August 21st. August 21st is going to be a really special day. We'll get treated to a total solar eclipse. That's when the moon will pass directly between the Earth and the sun, casting its shadow across the face of the Earth. And so much of that shadow will crisscross the country from Oregon to South Carolina, giving folks along that about 70 mile wide path of totality a total eclipse. For folks outside the path of totality, you get treated to a partial eclipse, um, which is also a, a fun, and enjoyable sight. Um, and so definitely August 21st is a day you want to circle on your calendar and get outside. And now this eclipse is supposed to be one of the most widely viewed celestial events in U.S. history. So can you tell me why scientists are so mm -hmm. excited about this eclipse? Well, this, this eclipse gives us a really unique opportunity to make observations of, uh, of an eclipse for a long period of time. As I mentioned, it's going to last about 90 minutes as it crisscrosses the country. That gives us a, a real unique opportunity to observe what happens to the, to the Earth's environment, the Earth's atmosphere during eclipse, as well as to make measurements, observations of the solar corona. When this moon completely blocks out the solar disk, we'll actually get to see the superheated uh, in, uh, upper atmosphere of, uh, of the sun. We don't normally get to make those kinds of observations, and so uh, the eclipse gives us a really special uh, opportunity window into uh, what's happening at the sun uh, on that day. So we are located in central North Carolina. We're looking at a partial eclipse here with about 95% of the sun covered. So what can we expect here right. compared to areas that mm -hmm. will be in the path of totality? So yeah, being that close to the path of totality there in North Carolina will really, you'll notice that it'll get darker, it'll get cooler, but if there's any chance you can be uh, a little bit further south in that path of totality, you'll definitely want to take, take an opportunity to do that because um, during, during a totality, you'll get treated to a really unique, special uh, view. But if you're not able to, you'll still get to see uh, the, the moon take a big bite out of the sun for, uh, for several hours that day. And that's also an enjoyable view. All right. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today. We really appreciate it. For more information on how you can view the solar eclipse and where you can view it on August 21st, you can visit our website, WNCN.com.